Hey everybody, my name is Amal Sadala and I work as a research assistant in the Artificial Intelligence Group of TU Dortmund. Today, I will present our paper on entitled Online Ensemble Aggregation Using Deep Reinforcement Learning for Time Series Forecasting. Before starting, I would like to give you an outline of our presentation. First, some few words about time series forecasting, since we are dealing also with the topic of ensemble, then an overview of uh, ensemble methods that have been proposed in the literature for in the context of time series forecasting. Afterwards, I will give you a detailed overview of our approach in online ensemble aggregation using deep reinforcement learning. Then, uh, some overview also of the experiments that we have conducted to validate our approach and finish with some concluding remarks. As you may know, time series forecasting has been proven to be very useful in a wide variety of fields and several machine learning models uh, ranging from uh, regression models to time series specific uh, forecasting models have been proposed, pro proposed to solve this task. However, it has also been proven that none of these models is universally valid for every application and even within the same application as this figure shows, different models or different forecasting models have time uh, change in performance or behavior over uh, time. Therefore, adequate and adaptive model selection is required in real time and since no uh, single model also is valid over time, Combining them in one single model using ensemble technique appears also as an attractive solution, uh, especially when considering uh, building dynamic ensemble method to cope with the time evolving nature of, uh, of time series data. Uh, before, uh, st uh, before moving, uh, I would like just to give a reminder on how ensemble are generally constructed. So uh, we uh, set up uh, a set of base models or pool of base models and then in the second step, we select only a subset of uh, these, model, these models that, that are more adequate to model the forecasting task at hand, output their prediction and decide for their, uh, to, on how to combine them on one single model. Uh, methods dealing with ensemble mainly focus on combination approaches in, uh, in, in, in the literature, ranging from averaging approaches to regret-based minimization approaches, meta-learning paradigms, and more recently, re reinforcement learning has been also used in the context of ensemble aggregation, either by using few learning-based approach, uh, simple and, status, uh, and static approach for setting up uh, the weights of the ensemble members uh, to uh, some binary values, uh, especially for classification, and uh, more recently, static ensemble aggregation using deep reinforcement learning uh, was uh, uh, proposed. And the main advantage of this work uh, that they uh, they uh, they consider the weights that should be attributed uh, to the ensemble members in a continuous space, and they learn the policy on how to set up these continuous weight values using an actual critic network. Uh, by considering the action, the actions as the set of the of weights, the states as the result of attributing different weights to different ensemble member by outputting the response of the ensemble on a validation window of size omega, and then the reward to be a performance-based uh, um, measure for uh, the ensemble uh, performance. However, the major limitation of this work that once the the policy. Uh, that determined the weights is learned once offline and then kept static during the online deployment of the model. However, to cope with uh, the time evolved nature of time series data, we suggest that the, the ensemble aggregation should be made adaptive and in an online man manner. So basically, we consider again a high dimensional continuous action and state spaces using an actor critic approach, but we update the policy in an adaptive, informing manner following concept drift detection in the ensemble uh, performance. How this is done exactly? Uh, so we consider, consider that we have the time series data available till time t for training, and we are interested in forecasting a future value t plus h. So we have the sequence of, uh, of time series observation of size omega till time t plus h minus one. We predict the aggregation uh, the aggregation policy using the network P by outputting, of course, the ensemble weights by this network that will be attributed to the different base models. We compute the forecast using this equation. And once we move to the following step, uh, step we will be able also to collect or to measure 
the residual of the ensemble over time. By, mo by monitoring the residuals of the ensemble over time, we can detect whether there is a drift in the performance of, of this uh, ensemble or not. If there is a drift, then the policy is mm, no longer valid and new aggregation policy have to be made in place by retraining the policy network by updating the state the, the state to the current observed observation and feed it to the actor critic network so the recent omega values uh, till the time where we detected the, the drift and then we feed them to the actor critic network we retrain our policy network and we uh, redo the same loop uh, the change in the residuals or the concept drift in the residuals is detected using the paging clip algorithm. So uh, basically here a comparison between the online deployment of uh, the static reinforcement learning approach and our approach. If you may see here, they just fix the policy network and then they feed the new states to output the new weights. For our uh, method, we uh, keep mo mo monitoring the performance of the model by monitoring the residuals of the ensemble and put them into a buffer and consider these residuals as a time series that can, concept, uh, that can be subject to concept drift. Once a concept drift is detected, the whole policy is updated by updating uh, the new state and feeding it to the policy uh, to the actual critic network and learn a new uh, policy. So, we validated our uh, approach using 20 real-world datasets. We consider a pool of 43 models. Those are the family of models uh, from which we selected our base models by changing uh, the, the parameters to get the final pool. And then we performed a comparison of our method with several state-of-the-art methods for time series forecasting, including ERIMA, LSTM, but also we consider we consider it a comparison with the state-of-the-art ensemble methods for time series forecasting, including the static ensemble, the slide window ensemble, online aggregation using different methods like exponential weighting, uh, fixed share method, online gradient descent, polynomially weighted ensemble stacking approach, a dynamic ensemble that consider concept drift detection to prune uh, the, the ensemble, and uh, also, we compared our method with a variant of our method that consider a periodic update of the policy without taking into account the presence or not of uh, concept drift. So you can treat this model as a blind adaption or a blind update of the policy in a periodic manner. As you may, may see, our method outperform um, uh, largely uh, different state-of-the-art methods when considering the average rank of the of our method in uh, the 20 real world data sets and the, the, the significant win and losses using the paging uh, using uh, sorry the Wilcoxon ranked uh, test on different uh, 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 data sets and the, basically the, the the competitive method to our method is the periodic update of the policy uh, and but the periodic update consider a higher number of updates that should be taken periodically over time. However, our method consider only uh, updates whenever uh, a concept drift is uh, detected. That's why in the average runtime it has a considerably lower average runtime considered to the periodic one. Uh, of course, the static one is much more faster because it, it learns the policy once and uh, keep it uh, static. However, if we consider a trade-off between runtime or resource consumption and performance, then uh, our method can be considered as um, uh, as a, a good solution uh, to, uh, to to aggregate the ensemble in an online manner. So basically, we have suggested a novel and practically effective uh, method for online ensemble aggregation using deep reinforcement learning. Uh, we use an actor critic approach to learn the weights in continuous space. The combination policy is updated in an informal manner following concept drift detection uh, 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 in real time. And we validated our approach on 20 real world data sets to show its robustness and uh, good performance compared to several state of the art methods. Thank you for your attention and feel free to ask any questions. So, our work is supported by uh, the DFG within the Collaborative Research Center SFB 876 and the Competence uh, Center for uh, Machine Learning ML2R. Thank you again.